Far away, guys. Marcus, how do you feel the new guys have been doing so far? How would you assess their performance? Um, I'll say they've been doing great. Um, they've been picking up on a lot of the topics quick, learning fast, i say. Um, i say this year we've basically learned it faster than probably we've done learned since I've been here, and I feel like they're picking it up great. Do you kind of feel like it's your team? Coach was mentioning that you might want to embrace that. Um, yeah, I do feel like that. Hey, what do you have? What do you have to do as a leader? Um, overall, win games. Um, make sure basically everybody know what they're doing, where they're supposed to be, and just win. And coach says you know, you can embrace that, that it is your team or you talk about that. What does that mean to you? Um, it means a lot. Um, like I say, I probably don't learn from a lot of good leaders that have came through here that I was um, fortunate enough to play with. So um, when coach tell me that, it kind of pumps me up and get me ready. How different does this feel, Marcus? I mean, with, with that in mind, it's your team, it's your chance to be that top leader. And yet here you are dealing with COVID and, and just a really strange off season and strange preseason and all that. How big a challenge has that been for you in that role? Um, definitely a big challenge um, with everything just being different. But when we get on the court, it's still basketball. Um, so I mean, I just go out there and try to lead the best way I know how. Marcus, you guys had such a great year last year. Um, have you been able to move on from the way that it ended last year, and, and if so, how, how were you able to do that? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, I've been able to move on in the biggest way. Um, just knowing it was bigger than us and it was not coming back. So I was able to move on, move on from it during the summertime. Do you think it could still serve as motivation for this year? Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, guys that was on their team, they came back still hungry. But we didn't get to finish what we wanted. Hey, Marcus, uh, Udoka did so much defensively for you guys last year. Just how realistic is it to maybe ask David to do some of that? And what, what could maybe David do to kind of replace some of Udoka's defensive presence? Um, definitely uh, protect the rim. Um, Doka was great at that. Um, but I also feel David can protect the rim, too. So that's the biggest thing I just try to tell him is not block it, just um, try to make the offensive player take a contested shot, hard shot. Marcus, I know you haven't been out there yet today, but but um, what you guys have been getting after the last several weeks. Do you anticipate anything being different for those new guys that practice is officially starting, or, or do you think you guys are in pretty good shape to just keep it rolling from here? Yeah, I kind of feel like we're in good shape. Um, everybody kind of know what we're doing. been already practicing, basically putting it in place, so I feel like they'll be ready. Marcus, what have you seen out of a uh, tie-on so far? Uh, shot making ability, I would say his ability to score. Um, he can score. He's a sneaky good defender too. Um, he got long arms, can block shots. That's the most I say about Tyon. Yeah. How how have you seen him deal with the transition, maybe, of going from the the JUCO level to competing against you guys in in practice and behind the scenes? Um, it was probably slow at first, but he he's picked it up. Um, I feel like he's kind of getting comfortable now. He competes, so that kind of that kind of helps everything. Is there a returning player other than David that you think has taken a huge step forward? Um, yeah, kind of all of them with CB and Ocha. Uh, I should say both of them. Um, Ocha shooting the ball great, and the same with CB. CB just way more confident. Now. Marcus, what's the depth in your backcourt do for this team, or can it do for this team? You guys have a lot of pieces there, a lot of wings. Um, how big of an advantage is that, and what what can it do for you? Um, it could do a lot um, with us being long on the perimeter. I also feel like we can be great defensively again. Um, with just so much size that we have on the court, I feel like we lock in. We could be another good, good defensive team. All right, Marcus, thank you. Thanks, Marcus. Thanks, Marcus. Guys, it's a wrap.